Club water we doing? Well, what are you doing? Mm. The un... Well, there's many unsexy parts. There's many unsexy parts. <laughs> I can't even <laughs> There's many unsexy parts. I need to slow down. That's my problem. That's my problem. That's your problem? Well, I have many problems, but <laughs> definitely when I can't speak American very well, I think that's my problem. And you know what? Mm -hmm. I think I'm already breaking my first rule. I'm like doing it backwards. I need to be, but there was a big knot. That's what forced me, but I, I won't be able to get this through the van. So. What am I doing? There are many unsexy parts of decoy carbon. This is one of them. So way, way back in the day, love, if you want to go over, but go quick so nobody can see all the mess. Go quick. No, go quick. Quirk, so te quirk text from Wiley Cork, Inc. Wilmington, Delaware, USA. This is a little bit of a history. Uh, and actually, too, there's a book. Fuck. There's a book of uh, the quirk. The quirk. Can you get it? Yeah, I was, I was going to run the camera for a second. Uh, we got a lot of stuff going on. Karen made fun of yesterday. Okay, she made fun. Of, she said it looked like a five-year-old. Did you not? Uh-huh. <laughs> she said it was like a five-year-old over there. But I've been collecting those decals. Check that out. Ooh. I look really young. But check that one out over there. I didn't bring that one out yesterday, though. Look at that. I don't even have a beard. Which one? The picture. See it in the window? Oh, God. I'm zoomed in on it. Wow. That's me beardless. Mm. All right, so cork is from Portugal, and it's tree bark. And I finally found, there, there's a good picture. Uh, but I did finally find my piece where all my duck and goose calls are packed away from the move. That is where the, the piece of cork is. But but yeah, there you go, it's, it's, it's trees. It's like show and tell. It's trees. It's trees. Oh, that's crazy. But I'm sorry, it is tree bark is what cork is. <laughs> I've got so much cork. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, basically they have like these, like if you will, like a, uh, right there, there is, they, they peeled it off. Big pieces of cork bark. That's cool. That is cool, right? Are we gonna, are we gonna make this a shorty out of this? So if this is a shorty and you're listening, you need to get on YouTube and check this out. Here, there's some really good pictures. Take your time. Oh, on wow. That, yeah, it that really is does. Cool. Yeah, I thought that they, does that, doesn't that kill the tree because no, they skinned it completely? No, nope, it does not. Huh, okay. Because it is, I don't know. I, I, you know what? You know me, right? Mm -hmm. I've never read this book. I was like looking at the picture. It's kind of like Playboy back in the day. Mm -hmm. Except the opposite, where you read it for the article, not the oh, picture. This is the opposite, say. where I do it for the pictures and not the article. Huh. Is Playboy still even around? I have no idea. They it's invented world, the huh? internet. I, I was going to say with the internet, I bet you killed them, huh? Oh, uh, but anyway, we're here. There's another cool picture, right? Yeah. So back in the day, when you were over there, thanks for going over there. Cork text, Wiley Cork. Are you going? No. I thought I heard you. Uh, Marty Wiley imported the raw material from Portugal, which is cork bark, and much like the old Plato, uh, Plato factory kind of the extruder. That's mm -hmm. how it kind of cork was made, where. Cork got ground up, they used a binder, and it came out, it was like this big hopper, and it came out an extruder, it was a big heated plate. And that's how cork was made. Because of the binder that, this is tree bark, but because of the binder that Marty Wiley Wiley Cork used, it did not absorb water. It was the greatest thing in the world. Well, there's lots of good things in the world, but in the decoy world. Uh, I think that if you wanna, if you spun around, both of those George Williams Mallard have to be Wiley Cork. You don't have to spin around here, but up top there. Okay. Yeah, those, those guys are Wiley Cork. Super, super light, great, great material. Um, I've got some upstairs still. Mm. Um, what are you saving it for? A rainy day. <laughs> a rainy day. But I'm going to say that, so current day, this Portugal cork is imported from Portugal. Mate, uh, I, don't know, I won't say it's extruded in Portugal, but... Um, definitely made in Portugal. Oh, love. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. Oh, here. I already put a screw in it. That, that is Wiley Cork. It even smells different. Hmm. It's chunkier. 
Um, just happens to be. Cause the, more air pockets in it too. Uh, it's, it's just the way it gets grabbed. Okay, here, so here is, that's a different piece of Wiley cork. And this last piece is Wiley. These are teal. Oh, there. That's Wiley as well? Yep. Hmm. Three little pieces of, well, and you can kind of see the, you look at the profile. It, it, this is quite possibly because of, there you go, it's a good example. Because of the different years, I'm, I'm good at like cutting out way too much and not getting a lot finished. Can you imagine that? No. Okay, well, I am. So that's probably how these bodies really came about, that all three of them are, are somewhat different. But that is old Wiley Cork. That's pretty much all close, close to me. That's all I got. All right, room me back in. This cork will absorb water, will get very, very heavy. And when I, the year was 2009, I think it was 2009. That was the first year that I made an entire rig of sea duck decoys. We're under the gun a little bit, right? It is, uh, what? Oh, I gave myself a day. I was going to call it the 29th. This is 28th, mm -hmm. 28th of oh, August. Oh, Rye's birthday. Happy birthday, Rye. She's five today. So yes. Oh man. Where what, what was I talking about? I don't know. You started looking at the calendar. Oh, so we're I'm a little bit under the gun just to do these decoys that I get done. But back in the day, love 2009, I did 90 decoys. Now they were not the best looking birds. I will tell you that. But I did. I will say th th two, definitely two dozen, if not three dozen, old squall, and the rest were scooter. But I did them in 90 days, so I feel pretty confident I can do this. But. TM decoys, Tom made us. We were talking one time and he said, hollow these things out. And if they get wet, which my sea duck decoys always get shot, in theory, there'll be less cork to absorb water. Makes makes sense, right, though? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Plus, actually just makes them a little bit lighter overall. And, 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 well, I don't have my brand out yet, but we can put the Pit Boss brand in the bottom. These are gonna get hollowed out. Mm -hmm. But I, So this is what I do. Cut the cork out like I'm doing here, these teal. Cut the bottom boards out, put a screw in them, and I'm going to carve them, carve them up, put my tail in, make them look good, and then at the very end, we'll open them back up, run a screw through the head, and glue them back together. And we put two pennies in them, so we can say they are worth what? Two cents. At least, at least two cents. So again, this is really, I'll slow down. This is the very unsexy part of decoy carving. Uh, a lot of peat and repeat, and... Just like I said, I already caught myself just because, right there, see? That knot, I was gonna go the other way. I'm gonna try to go that way, which will make it make it easy to go through through the bands all I guess it'll still be okay. It's just, it is kind of in a bad spot. Let me see if I, how about this? I go this way, there we go, we fixed it. All right. Thoughts, comments, questions, love? Nope, just wanna see it, how it plays out through the end here. Through and the again, end? You, through the whole board. Oh, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna lay these bad boys on here, draw them out, and cut them out. And try to maximize the material. The material. Yeah, because it's kind of hard. And what is this wood? That is Western red cedar. Okay. And I like it just because it is costly, yes, but I like it because it is super lightweight. It is very very dry. And with the teal, I even run it through the planer, get her just a little bit thinner. So um, that's all I got. That's what okay. I'm going to be doing. I just want to make sure before I really commit to this, that this is what I want to do, but this is what I want to do. Except I really feel like I should start up that end. Because that's the end that's going to run through the hands a little. Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> so if this is our Wednesday shorty. This is the Wednesday shorty? It is now. <laughs> Double duty. Thank you, thank you. You're looking out for me, aren't you? Yep. Man, the internet this morning, that kind of teed me off a little bit. Oh, yeah. But, man, but honestly, I should have went last night, and I didn't. Why? Because it was late. We had a really long day. Why? Um, you should give me eyes. You went and got La Sierra. Oh, yes. We went and got some really yummy dinner. And I said I would just have one drink with my Mexican. Mm -hmm. But one turned into... Mm-hmm. I don't know. Yeah. But I just thought, what a wise thing for me to go drive. It so. was a busy day. But yes, it was a very busy day. And we do have to thank 
your youngest Jake for coming down and helping us out. So. Yeah, for sure. All right, so here we go. Uh, just kind of, again, this there's nothing complicated or, whoops, came up the back side of this one. Nothing complicated or sexy here. Uh, and then the other thing I do just to make sure that I can keep track, I'll just go ahead and right? match them up. Yeah. Yep. But for short term, just because you're here, I'm going to set that there, but I wouldn't normally go back and, man, these, when I go through, this is a super nice uh, lumber yard that I go to. Again, it is costly, but they do let me pick through and kind of, I will say this, if you have the ability to go to a lumber yard like I do and go through and pick, I find that the boards that are, uh, I think some of them are pushing 20, 20 feet, 22 feet, 24 feet. The longer the board, the cleaner that and clearer that it is. Hmm. The ones that are eight feet, they're always knotty. And it mm -hmm. kind of makes sense, I guess, right? I guess smaller sure, tree. Smaller tree. Right. But it doesn't matter. the cost doesn't matter. And I'm, if I buy a 24 foot board, I'll cut it in half or cut it in thirds. Yeah. And it's a super clean board. So hmm. that might be my pit boss decoy carving tip of the day. Oh, you never knew me with about D3TV, did you? I did not. Yeah. But we did binge on the videos. We did? When we first met, yeah. Binge, man, they make me cringe. <laughs> huh? Yeah. I guess it is, it is my history, but man. Of course, that's not too. All right, so who do we need to thank you? <sighs> thank you for filming? Thank you to our Oh, sponsors. because this is, I see, I wasn't really. Well, okay. We can, now. We can do that now. We need to thank our very good friends. Uh, just thank you. At Molly's Place Sporting Goods. Easily found on Route 213 in Kennedyville, Maryland. On Maryland's upper eastern shore. And what do they got coming up? MyMollies.com. M-Y-M-O-L-L-Y. -L -L that was not Love, you didn't need to make me write number two on here. Oh, but I also... You got me sidetracked. I also had just some really bad American language. You did? What have they got going on there? Oh, well, you're not American, so I'll give you a pass. August. No. September 22nd. I'm not going to look at the board. September 22nd, 23rd, and 24th. It is Molly's anniversary sale weekend. It is their 13th year in business. It's gonna be a great weekend. You're gonna make the trip up. And they're gonna have, what do we like to say? In the big white tent, up to 70% off. 70%. Up to 70% <laughs> off. <laughs> regularly priced items. Not all regularly priced items, but certain items. You gotta be careful what you say because people are people. How about that? But up to 70% off select items off the original price. In the big white tent plus all the other goodness this 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 you ain't gonna do that, don't you? Yep. Cecil County Dragway. Coming Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. I loved the drag race back in the day. Um, but yes, back to my eyes. I'm going to look at the board real quick. Just because I want to talk about a heavy hammer Chesapeake. It's going to be the Molly's exclusive 20 gauge as well as 12 or 12 and 20. Whichever way you will look at it. It's going to be a mixture of threes and fives. The fives is bismuth. The threes are steel. Heavy steel. Steel. Um. Uh, it's gonna be the Molly exclusive. So you love you're gonna get to shoot some in your in okay. your what? In my twenty gauge Benelli. Super Black Eagle. Love it. You do love it. Um, all right, next up. Crabs to go. Thank you for helping me out. Crabs to go. Mark, John, Dan. Crabs to go I haven't said it recently, um, but just because of COVID, they cannot ship like they used to ship. They used to ship everywhere. Ship oysters to my father. Mm. In North Carolina. Yep, in North Carolina. So they, they actually shipped, uh, I think they shipped daily. Well, they did, excuse me. They do not net currently, but they did ship daily. crabs .com, if you're ever halfway close or if you're hunting with me, what's wrong? Mm -hmm. You know you got to check them out. Very old, yeah. We almost did very close to 
doing the uh, breakfast of champions yesterday, which, if you don't follow along, mm. is delicious. It is delicious, but it's single fry oysters. Plain single fried oyster. Next up, love. Duck blind coffee. You can turn and look, nobody would even know. No, duck blind coffee. Duck blind coffee. I was. What did you say? Duck blind. Dirty duck. Oh, Lord. I followed you on that. <laughs> too and too many things at once. I'm sorry. Cut that. You got to apologize. I'm not editing that at all. Why? Why? Duck blind. I, it kind of felt weird when I said it. That's what I. And I, I rolled off my tongue and I'm like, what? Duck blind. <sighs> duck blind bistro. Thank you. Duckblindbistro.com. It is the ultimate outdoor oven. If you have not seen us use it, you can get on our Instagram account at Pitboss Waterfowl. And there is we had we used it this morning. Jam loves the biscuit. Yeah, it was yeah. delish. The ultimate outdoor oven. Well, actually, I did overcook them some. I was gonna say that. But yeah, well, I did. I was trying to cook bacon outside, cook biscuits inside, cook eggs inside. It was all happening. Yeah. Um. Duck Blind Bistro. John, Paul, and Jay, thank you very much. We appreciate it. We appreciate the support. Got, oh, guys, <laughs> love. What is next? <laughs> Dirty duck Oh, you did coffee. have to look. Well, I don't, but I already butchered it once. Like okay, good. Dirty Duck Coffee. I actually was texting with Jay. Yeah. Yeah. Buck and Jay, Dirty Duck Coffee, DirtyDuckCoffee.com. Uh, he, he was getting one of the giver rooms or wanted to know more information about the Easton Waterfowl Festival. Yep. We, so, we secured our room. Yeah, we did. Thank you. Thank you for doing that. Well. Look, I'm going to be, I don't think I can get one in there. I was wondering yeah. if you would uh, need to get another one just to see. Oh, does it matter which side? It does not matter. This way? Is it? Oh, it makes it. Boom! We love that. All right. Dirty Duck Coffee. And I'm just going to wait. Everybody keeps, not everybody, but many keep saying, what are we going to announce? But I'm just going to wait for them to announce it first. So, DirtyDuckCoffee.com. What's up next, look? Duck Water Boats. Duck Water Boats. Steve Hoover, all the way in New Philadelphia, Ohio, thinking of you. We are. Uh, well, I said it yesterday. Well, I, I did talk to Steve this, this past week. Um. But he's not, I don't think he's coming out. Yeah, that's all right. Uh, we'll catch him. I almost more. wanted to say something to him. If he had anything halfway close, September 30th, I was thinking he should stop by. Mm, what's on September 30th? 8821 Peerless Road. And what's happening there? Well, you've told me it's just a flat out yard sale. I like to call it. And you say, once again, I'm showing my age. I don't know. It sort of reminds me way back in the day of... of the plaza, where all the stores, not all the stores. Yeah, they were. Yeah, the sidewalks. Yeah, they would bring stuff out of their stores and, and put it out on the side. Yep. But anyway, I call it a waterfowl saw, sidewalk sale. <sighs> oh my it's a, a big little, old yard sale. A little play on words you didn't appreciate. Yeah. I just think, well, people were a little confused. Some of the questions were like, what? well, when is it open? Or when, when you know, the hours and it on was just kind of. The sale? Yeah, but it was just kind of. It, People were sounding a little confused. But if you say yard sale or garage sale, people... Shop sale. Know. People know. It's eight, a free-for-all. Eight. I think it's about 80 pounds. It's going to be eight. Maybe they're not all 10 pounds. I think they're going to be 10 pounds. 80 pounds of pork butt awesomeness, too. Oh, oh yeah. I might go ahead and double tap in. All right. Uh, I was talking about Dirty Duck Coffee. Mm -hmm. DirtyDuckCoffee.com. Check them out. And when they announce whatever they're going to announce, that's what we're going to follow suit. Okay. All right. Who else, love? Who else? Our new newest. And we're very pleased. We are very pleased. To be a part of. Wait, did I finish? Oh, my goodness. No, 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 no. I was talking about Duckwater Boats. And I... Yes. Yeah, but and I. Then you went I... back to Dirty Coffee. Yeah, why so I, thought you you were in? I thought you were done with Duckwater Boats. Oh, no, no, no. Got talking about the 30th. I was going to say, Steve, you should, Steve, you should come out if you wanted to. Okay. Love. We mm. are. Mm, mm. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. What are we in? Good thing the camera's this way. Uh-huh. What are we in? Uh, we are getting We are getting very close to September. 
Love. In duck order boats, what are we in? Oh, no, that's your, you bloody answer it for a change. No, I like to quiz you to make sure you're on top of things. I know, but what are you, is it because you forgot? Oh. Nope, nope. How could I forget, love? Uh, How well, tell us could what I it is. forget? It is the world's largest duck boat. We happen to be in hall number two. There you go. Rod Merrick, EiderPro.com, and, uh, man, I, I can't, I butchered the name. Being dyslexic and whatnot. East, East, East Machis, uh, um, Maine. It's pretty close. Um, he's in hall number one. Go ahead, what? What propels that thing? A Suzuki 350 with a duo prop. <laughs> it's not a V8, it's a V6. The 350 Yamaha was a V8 and they had many, many different difficult problems with that motor. We know that firsthand. Right? Oh, yeah. I couldn't, I couldn't. You know, we did. That. We I like the Suzuki. I, I wanted to kind of really roll with that and I just couldn't. See my decals over here? I do. You know what we really need to fix in here? It's bugging me. What? Because of my uh, snafu, the all the boxes that I said are a little deep in the drywall. I mean, oh, I'm going to put yeah. the extenders on as soon as I put the extender on. That's why I asked if I could just do it. Well, we have, you might have to turn the power off to do That's it. You right. can't just reach in there. I can do that. All right. I don't know if I'm going to make it back up. Uh, uh, where am I at, love? You started to say... Well, our, our newest yeah, supporter. Newest. And then I said I'd never finished with Steve. All right. Uh, oh. Well, thank you, Steve. We love your boat. We do love And we don't just use it for duck hunting. And our dog loves it, too. I had to get it to see the pie. Mm. All right, I can go. I can go. All right, let me give you a little, a little oh, bit thank of... You. Oh, I made it. Ah, oh, but I sat on my hand. <laughs> All right, I'm good. Really did go on my hand. Left cheek, right cheek, I can't go. Left cheek, I can go. All right, love. Dial me back in. Our newest supporter. Gunner Kennels. GunnerKennels.com. What are Gunner Kennels? The man's best kennel. And it kind of is. It is. Yeah, we're very, very happy with them. Yeah, I don't... I need to learn more. I, I would call it their... I don't know. They're much like any of your premium quality coolers. Would you say that? Yeah, that's Router kind of, molded? Yes. But they are, yeah, I guess they are router, 100% router molded. I need, oh, to look, I need to look into that. Oh, I, I need thought, to talk to Luke. I, th I would say it would be Actually, solid. Luke texted me. No, they're not solid. Mm -hmm. No, he, Luke just texted a little bit ago. I need, to, I need to find out more about that. Okay. But I met Addison at the Eastern Waterfowl Festival six or seven years ago. Mm -hmm. And Addison is who? He is the owner. Okay. He and his wife, Emily, are the owner. Okay. Um, great family business. Nothing but positive things to say about everybody. Um, and we're looking forward to working with them. So, mm -hmm. side note, which I said yesterday, but we got the pleasure, the honor, no, the honor, not the, the honor and a pleasure to be a part of the Flyway Series that they do. And this year, mm -hmm. it was the Atlantic Flyway Series and I woke up this morning thinking about, thinking about all the facts. Should I go into it? In the Susquehanna River? Um, no. No, I won't do it. But anyway, Susquehanna, it is a, some people call it a chessy brown. Other people call it kind of a, a pintail brown. But it's, it's, it's a, it's a good looking cooler. You can get cooler? on. Cooler? Man's best kennel. It's a good looking kennel. <laughs> I'm not even going to edit that out. It's my mind. I'm just. Well, I call it a chocolate brown. Okay, that's fine. Chocolate. Yeah, maybe chocolate lab, but I. I'm going to bring it up. Um, my mind is so. Uh, not fried. Whatever. No, you just. The, well, the, the, I had a doctor things. call me to confirm an appointment yesterday. I had to call her back and say. Uh. You're gonna think I'm stupid. I don't even. What, what is? What is this? What? Who are you? She's a freaking dentist. I don't remember making that appointment. Well, because you don't put it in your calendar. Oh. Gunnerkettles.com. The Flyway series. It's not cooler, but there is a dog food crate that goes with it. That maybe that's what the I was. Do, dog the dog food crate. crate. It's called yeah. a crate. Or what would you call it? Bin. Bin. Okay. Yeah. I, Great, Ben. I was going to go off the whole kennel thing. A dog food. 
Yeah, you. it has a nice latch, has a nice seal on it. Kind of keeps yes. everything nice and airtight. Eight, this is nine. Um, yes, so GunnerKennels.com. Everyone at Gunner, thank you very much. Love, are you gonna say thank you very much? I am, because I do really like the kennels and the dogs like them too. Very, very comfortable. They're very calm and at ease in there. Um, ease, you know, happily go in into the kennels for sure. I don't feel very calm or at ease at the moment. <laughs> what were you for dinner? Uh, leftovers. Mm, okay. Fajita, yummy. Yeah, but it didn't, didn't look like it was that much. I'm, I well, there's to, leftover I, Mexican too. I, I started to go. Well, that's what I meant. I started to go well this afternoon on that. I know you'll eat the leftover of Mexican. Love Whaleyville wagon tails. What's going on there? Um, we have. Can we turn one, the camera around? Nope. One little camper right now. Miss Olive. She's nice. She's a pleasure. Too. Second time she's been here. Yep. We really, we really enjoy having Olive. She's a New York girl. She's New York, New York City girl, I think. Yeah, I'm not uh, 100% sure, but... New Rochelle. Which we... Well, the new route we found to go to PEI, we kind of just skirt. We go to the west of New Rochelle. If we went 95, we'd go right through okay. New Rochelle. Um, yeah, no, she, it's all going great. Have We have an older yellow lab coming for a few hours tomorrow to hang out. Bella? And then we and then we have it now. You met her the other day briefly okay. when the couple came by. Oh yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Yep. This one says seven. What am I doing? Um there we go. I'm talking a lot. I just want to make sure I got my yep. there we go. Uh so now if this airs on Wednesday, mm -hmm. will it air on Wednesday? Well you can have time to get it uploaded tomorrow night. Would be one day to go. One day till the first, which is dove and goose, goose and dove. Oh, good lord! We, I, I don't know. I just don't know where this year's gone at all, at all. And we still have to empty a trailer, get over to Pintail, sign a sign a contract for sale of a house, even understanding the contract. Hopefully, before we sign it. Yeah, that's just good. I, I got some questions. I need. Oh my gosh! DNA drywall is there fixing the the door drywall for us at Duco. Destroy. Yeah, he don't create, but um, yeah, everything else is good. Still, uh, I, I won't say I'm worried about it, but I do feel kind of bad. I mean, it's not even September first. Pit boss waterfowl's full, and I took two more today of emails of people saying, um, no, no phone calls, eh? Phone, just uh, emails. Um, about like what was what's what and what's up and you know, we'll see if, see if everybody can start thinking about 2024 25 so yeah for sure get in now all right so once again i didn't really think it was going to be a shorty i was just going to have a youtube about doing some decoy problem this is awesome you're at 28 minutes we really? can wrap it up are you serious you're a yakka <laughs> 28 minutes? All right, love. Let's let you focus. Get it done. It's almost 5 p.m. You know what that means. Okay, correction. In case Paulie is listening to us up at Maggie's on PEI, when I said that there was 13 dogs in the master, there was 20. All right. So he corrected me because he listened to that. Oh, good. Thank you for correcting us. Are you looking forward to going to PEI? I can't. It's a thing. As soon as I, I leave, I'm already looking forward to the next trip back. And that's the honest truth. It is my carrot that dangles for me every year to get to. Something to look forward to. Hanging out with great friends, good people. Yeah. All right, just to recap, the reason that I do this is because... Portugal cork that is imported. I'm going to reel it back into content instead of the the business side of what we do. Do mm -hmm. I call it the business side? Yeah. Okay. The business side of what we do. But we have to take care of those who take care of us. Oh, uh, yeah. So, um, yes. This Portugal cork, not like the Wiley cork that's right here, but this Portugal cork that is imported from Portugal because it has a different resin, a different binder. It will absorb water. So I will give credit to Tom Matis, TM Decoys, for telling me this way back in the day about, hey, why don't you just, 
why don't you just uh, hollow them out? That's what he was doing. He actually went and put West Systems. He, in the, my, the first ones I actually did, I did, I did do that. I would totally coat inside the the body after they're hollowed out. So with West Systems epoxy, uh -huh. but like a fiber fiber. If you had fiberglass, okay, yeah, glass glass, you put this resin on it. Yeah. Yeah, it gets hard as a rock. So we actually coated the inside of his bird as well as the you know the bottom board and used that to glue them together too. So um, I do thank him for that. So that's all I got, love. Thank you. I appreciate your time. Yeah. And thanks will, again to our sponsors. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, everyone who sponsors us. Thank you for following along with us. Appreciate that. If there's any comments, questions, if we can help you out in any way, please do so. If you are watching this on YouTube, give us a thumbs up if you'd like my style of decoy carving. If you do not, you can give me a thumbs down. Doesn't matter. Well, it does. But it doesn't, it doesn't really. I'm too old to really care about whether people like me or not, right? That yeah. said, I am asking you to give me a thumbs up, <laughs> right? All right? No, we just like feedback. Yeah, feedback. Uh, if you're not, please subscribe. If you're listening to this on any of the p standard podcast platforms, go to YouTube and check this out. But we listen, we appreciate you listening. But if you're halfway interested about seeing what we're doing to decoy carbon, uh, you can go to YouTube, check it out. I think maybe next week, maybe in the shop should be a little bit more put together by next week. We'll go through and let's... Uh, I keep hitting the table. Sorry. Uh, next week, let's maybe we'll do a little walk through the shop. Not that it's that complicated or sophisticated, but thoughts? Nope. Just okay. need to get you uh, going with the carving. I'm trying. That's why I'm sitting here. I know. That's why we're double duty. I need to get lost in here for a while. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you, love. And thank you for following along with us. As always, thinking of you, we are a very happy Wednesday. Boom. Oh, hey, let me do that again. Oh, there we go.